we are going to continue with the series of basic tutorials, this time, we are going to make a head, which will serve us, to see some options of the add-on that can be very useful within our workflow. Then, as always, with a selected object, we create a new branch with Ctrl plus N. Ok, we have with the keyboard shortcut J, we have to show us the axis of the object that we have selected. Move and scale in the directions we want, seeing where the directions are, when we see the axis shown. We extrude the branch with the shortcut E and adjust the shapes. As we saw by pressing the shortcut J we show or hide the axis of the object. You know how you can always edit the objects of the branches in edit mode, sculpt, however you want. When we sculpt the interior objects are automatically displayed so that we can sculpt. We have here, the parent indicator display, which is bothering us a little bit, I'm going to disable it. You know, edit the objects in the branch as you want, in the end the final mesh will adapt to the shapes of these objects. Let's look at a new option with many possibilities in block surfaces, duplicate in position, with the keyboard shortcut K. Create the new branch or duplicate, this new branch will be snapped to the surface, if we do not have any selected object, it will still be created but with the object predefined. Then, by clicking on the point on the surface where we want the new branch, with the shortcut K, we create this new branch. Then we will look at more options. Let's go with the eye, with Ctrl plus Alt plus D, we duplicate this branch to edit it do the eyelid, now, duplicate, and reposition each new branch to position it helps us a lot to have showing the axis, just press G to move, and the letter of the axis in the direction that you want to move it. It's a matter of personal preference of how to work with Blender, but, I recommend using the shortcuts for transformations, G for dragging, R for rotating and S for scaling and then the axis letter to constrain the operation with the axis letter. Not having to go looking in the gizmo, the exact point to pull to make each transformation. It really accelerated my workflow a lot. But, it's a matter of getting used to it. I give materials for each part, to distinguish them better. Now we make all the parts of the eye children of this branch. We select all of them to make the mirror, we'll use mirror branch you know so it can be different on each side. We're going to use duplicate in position, shortcut K, without having any selected, we'll create new branch here. With the predefined object. I create a new branch from the selected object, one of the skull, in this case. We use Ctrl plus N, to create where the new branch where the selected object is, this branch will be to make the nose. Ok, we have the separate branches. There you go, each branch follows the parent object. We will make the mirrors for these branches, as we explained in the previous video, now we will use Miro Mesh since the two sides will be the same, it will not be necessary to duplicate branch, it will use the mirror modifier for the final mesh. And now these branches that are independent now, we will make them daughters of the skull. So, all the branches following the head correctly. We're going to create some horns from here, J to visualize the axis and make it easier to manipulate the branch object. To this branch, we will also make mirror mesh, as target the skull like this, it will follow the head.
shortcut K, to create a new branch with the function duplicate in position, you know, it will be with the predefined object, if there are no other selected. And then, with duplicate in position, shortcut K, if we don't have any object selected, we create branch with the predefined object. But, if we have a branch selected, if we have any selected object that belongs to a branch, duplicate in position, it will duplicate the entire branch. And this new branch will be positioned, it has the snap activated and it is positioned on the surface, in the place where we click on the K shortcut. Thus, we can create duplicates of the selected branch where we click. Select the branch we want and click with shortcut K in the position for the new branch. The orientation in which it aligns with the surface depends on where the z-axis of the branch's parent object is located. This is the one that will line up to the surface. Then, when I click on the K shortcut, it duplicates the branch in the position marked with the mouse. Then, we can move it and the snap sticks it to the surface, notice aligning the z-axis of the parent object. Here, duplicate yourself in position without selecting it, it will let us see how the z-axis of that object is the one that gives the direction of the surface. We can always change the branch from the second object, something like this, and get the desired shape for the next duplicates in position. The parent object is the one that continues to mark how the duplicate branch will be aligned. And so we duplicate in position, the z-axis of the parent aligns and we have the new branches to our liking. So keep in mind, that the z-axis of the parent object is the one that will mark the orientation that the branch will have when using the K key and snapping to the surface. Let's see more possibilities that duplicate branches with the K key, duplicate in position, gives us. We duplicate this branch control plus alt plus D. We reposition them around here. This is a blender option, if you press Ctrl minors you move an object, it will make you the snap that has activated here. With Ctrl plus Alt plus D, we duplicate the branch, drag and if I keep Ctrl while moving it follows the surface. We are going to make these branches daughters of this other one. Now we will use the shortcut K, duplicate in position, but notice, that having this parent option enabled, if the selected branch, has children. We will duplicate the branch in that position and with their children. If we have the parent option disabled, only the selected branch will be duplicated. If we have parent activated, and that branch has children. We only select one object and parent to duplicate the entire branch with their children. If what I have are several selected and the parent option is disabled, it will duplicate the branches without hierarchy each one will go its own way. We can continue to position them, use control for snap, but as you can see, they are no longer related to each other. Let's use, to duplicate in position with the eyes, which have several related branches. By having parental disabled, only the selected branch or branches are duplicated and will be independent. 
But if I activate Parathon, when I duplicate in position, shortcut K, my whole eye will be duplicated with its related branches. We're going to delete these branches that we have left over now. Well now already, let's select these branches of the horns and make the mirror. We can use mirror mesh, we'll target the skull. Since they will be the same on both sides. Don't miss the next video with more block surfaces features. I hope you liked it, it is useful, and as always, thank you very much for your support.